Hello, I'm Kristen Volk and this is the UPI White House Weekly. President Obama called for a new beginning between the U.S. and Muslims in Egypt today. In a much anticipated speech, Obama told thousands at Cairo University that America is not at war with Islam. Obama also touched on the Mideast conflict, saying that a two-state solution is the only option for Israelis and Palestinians to live in peace and security. He also quoted frequently from the Quran, which drew a standing ovation. But not everyone had a warm reaction. Critics say that Obama offered only polished words and didn't offer any new initiatives or policies. And the Obama administration took a controlling stake in General Motors when the company filed for bankruptcy on Monday. That means U.S. taxpayers will own 60 percent of the automaker when its restructuring is complete in the next two to three months. The government also plans to pump an additional $30 billion into the company, on top of the $19 billion it has already invested, and convert most of that into equity in the new GM. President Obama responded to the news, saying that his goal is to get GM back on its feet, take a hands-off approach, and get out quickly. But he also warned that the company's restructuring will take a painful toll on many Americans as plants close and more jobs are lost. GM is the largest automaker in the U.S. And President Obama announced his intent this week to nominate Representative John McHugh as Secretary of the Army. If confirmed, the New York Congressman would be the third Republican appointed to a senior position in the Obama administration. The president said McHugh's 16 years of service on the House Armed Services Committee uniquely qualifies him to help lead America's Army. McHugh has served in Congress since 1993. And former First Lady Nancy Reagan returned to the White House on Tuesday for a ceremony honoring her late husband, President Ronald Reagan. At the ceremony, the president signed a bill authorizing a commission to plan events for Reagan's 100th birthday in 2011. He died in 2004. On Wednesday, Nancy Reagan unveiled a statue of her husband at the Capitol, calling the seven-foot figure a wonderful likeness. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching this UPI White House Weekly. We'll see you next week for another one.